In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the wiper cowl on this Ford F-150. I'm replacing the passenger side, but you would do the same procedure to replace the driver's side. I want to remove the wiper arms for this particular vehicle. You want to flip these up. There's a little tab on the back side, which I'll show you in a second, and it just comes off like that. Once you pry this tab away, like that, you should just be able to pull it off of the wiper transmission. You want to do that to both sides. Now you're going to want to take a trim tool and pop this part of the cowl up and out like this, all along. There we go. And since I'm not replacing this side, I'm just going to leave it here. If you were replacing this side, you would pull it out completely, but I just wanted it unhooked from here and unhooked from the passenger side, which is the one I'm replacing. On the ends of the cowls on each side, so it depends on what side you're replacing, there's a push clip here. Try to remove this. A lot of times these break, sometimes they go flying, but once it's removed, the cowl should pop up. Now we should be able to just lift this cowl piece, just like that. It does have the washer hose attached to it. Okay, Get that up. The washer hose disconnects over here. Pull this off just like that. And now you can slide this in over here, flip it over, and disconnect the rest of the washer hose. Now the new cowl does come with all of this, the washer nozzle and these washer hose pieces, so you don't have to take all these apart, but you do have to disconnect them on each end. And from this end, you would just find the washer nozzle piece and pull it straight off. There you go. And this is your passenger side cowl, which we can replace now. Now on the new cowl, you'll have the washer hose that you'll have to connect to the driver side washer nozzle. Press that on there. Don't be very forceful with it because these washer nozzles do break. The little tab here or the, the nipple off of it will break off. So once it's pressed on, leave it like that. And now just lift this up and we'll have to position it into place. Make sure that it lines up with everything. It should line up with the wiper over here, the wiper transmission. And it will kind of just fall into place as you wiggle it around. It should also line up with the other half of the cowl. I know it's not perfect yet, but that's because I need to go to the other side and line up that part. And on the passenger side, make sure the washer hose goes through the cutout on this plastic piece here. If it doesn't go through the cutout, it is likely to get pinched and it's not going to damage it unless you leave it on there for a long time, but it's going to restrict washer fluid flow. And then once you have that lined up, you wanna make sure that everything else kind of falls into place like that. Since we're here, let's go ahead and connect the washer hose to the rest of it. Make sure that's pressed on. Be very gentle with this fitting also. These do break, they are plastic and they're very small. Once that's connected, secure the hose here so it doesn't dangle around and get pinched or caught anywhere. Press this down, install the push clip, tap this other end down. Both sides, that's nice and flush. These two right here are supposed to have a slight gap. They don't actually join perfectly together, but this rubber piece should go over the other one. So as long as this is overlapping, you're good to go. Everything is seated, it's locked into place. So now let's put the wipers back. It's time to install the wiper arms. And if you confuse them or didn't mark them or just don't know which one goes where, they are slightly different, but on the back side of it underneath, They'll say D and P for driver and passenger, so you can't really mix them up. To install them, just slide it on in the approximate position that you want it in. It should click into place. Drop the wiper down. If you think it's sitting too high, just unclip that little clip and pull it off. Adjust it one tooth lower and drop it back down. This one tooth lower is a little bit too low. It's going to hit the cowl. So I'm actually gonna take it back off, put it one tooth higher right here, and that is perfect. Let's put the passenger side on. And passenger side, click it on, drop it down. Now you would activate your wipers to make sure that they wipe all the way up as they're supposed to. If they don't, adjust accordingly. Having said that, you're good to go. 
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.